have Virgo. I'm here to do a reading for you. Y'all, as soon as I come up here to do my damn reading, it's banging. I don't I don't know. It's crazy. But I have Virgo. Um, I'm here to do a reading for you. If you're just gonna focus on what you need to know at this time. Please be aware that the messages they may or may not resonate. So only take the messages if they resonate, okay? So let's see, Virgo. What messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit? Someone could come to your house unannounced. Someone you could hear a knock at the door at a I'm getting an unreasonable time or just unexpectedly, okay, Virgo? So let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what's the overall energy for Virgo, Simon, Rising, and Venus? What do they need to know? What's the overall energy for Virgo? I see here red forgive. Mm. song i'm getting yeah we got here let them go tree you will be holding on to something virgo or something that you feel like you can't get over or something that you may need to let go of this could be something within yourself dealing with yourself or a specific person we have here unplug and relax for a spell some of y'all should go listen to that song it may resonate with you what was i made for you could be like trying to figure out what you know what your purpose is I think I forgot how to be happy maybe I'm not something I should be something I made for something like that y'all I don't know that's that's what I'm channeling for y'all but I'm going to go to the book for these cards. We have here tree, let them go, number 18. The number 18 could be significant. Your birthday could be September the 18th. Okay. Let's see here. It says you often take on the pain of others. You used to think it was because you're an empath, but these days you're not so sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you and giving you nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel we've inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. This is your permission to let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them, right? Because, <clears throat> Virgo, you could be a martyr. And I feel like you may not speak up about your needs, you know, but you are so ready to cater to others' needs and you know, taking on the responsibilities of others, even though you may be neglecting yourself. All right. We also have here number three, Tower. This is Scorpio energy for me because it's the Tower, of course. You could be needing to connect with Rose Quartz crystals. I'm getting succulents. Um, The plants, the succulent plants and maybe green tea or an herbal tea here may help you. You may have a pair of black heels or black sandals um that's just random y'all let me see number three we have here it's time you took a step back and spent some quality time with your one true best friend yourself look at some yoga videos on youtube try out guided meditation read a book from a genre you might not usually read take a morning stroll around your neighborhood and discover places you've never been before when we take the time needed to recharge, we're paying the greatest respect to ourselves. Yeah, because I'm getting that, Virgo, you could be around individuals who will come and drain you of your energy. But when you need a refill, they're nowhere to be found or they're just not willing to, you know, be that support system that you are for them. Okay, it's like you're so supportive. You're always there for others. But when are where are they when you need them is what I'm getting here. 
So people could be really taking you for granted. You could be taking yourself for granted, though, um, Virgo. And you're being called to focus on yourself, to let a lot of people, places, and things go. And if this has nothing to do with people and places, this could be um, some inherited traumas from your past, okay? Yeah, focus on the here and now. There could be a specific person, though, that's literally draining your energy, Virgo. But let's see here. We're going to get some more clarity. Let's see. Tell me more about what Virgo needs to know, Holy Spirit. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know why I don't like to see other cards. <laughs> I don't like to see this background cards. We're going to go ahead and try to hide that a little bit. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, listen to your intuition. You know who this is. If this is a person, you already know who this is, Virgo. Yeah, look, this emperor energy. This could be an Aries. Someone who wants control. Somebody could be around you just because they want control or want to feel like they can control you in some type of way. Or like the fact that you you move or do whatever they say. Like somebody feels like when you when they say jump, you're going to say how high. Okay. This is Virgo. I don't know who the fuck this is, but I don't like them. <laughs> Cause I love I don't know how I feel, but I try. Look, I got a card, y'all. I got to go all the way over here and pick this damn card up. Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> this is someone you got a lot of love for. You're the light in someone's life here. You really are, Virgo. And I feel like you've been waiting for something to grow in a situation. But I don't know if it's growing here, Virgo. Because we have here the Ace of Cups with Love Begins. This is you. It's like you're always filling other people's cups. But you see how this bowl, it's like it's running out of water, right? And then we have here Heartache and Loss. Okay. You could be having abdominal pains. Every time I look at this, I get someone could be having abdominal pains or issues, stomach issues. Um, yeah, check on your diet. It could be something that you're eating that's causing these um, this stomach discomfort here, Virgo. We also have here trapped in fear. Okay. And this is the Eight of Swords in this deck. I feel like you could be painting yourself as the victim, but you know in the Eight of Swords, she can get out of it. So, Virgo, whatever this is, you can get out of it, it's, but it's just going to take for you to let go. And letting go can be one of the hardest things to do. It's easy to hold on to the heartache. It's easy to hold on to the pain. It's easy to sit around and wait, right? But to let go is the tough thing to do. We also have here number 19, the light. See, because you are the light in a lot of people's lives. And I feel like you could be their source of energy like you're the energy source for so many people you know but when are you going to be that light for yourself okay because i don't know if you can see there's like light on the outside here but then this is darkness so this could be what you're going through on the inside because she said i think i forgot how to be happy I mean, she was like, she's waiting. You could be waiting on this happiness to come. But this is something that must come from within. You're not going to get it from these people. If anything, they're going to continue to, to break your heart here. Because they're like misusing your love or they're not reciprocating your love, Virgo. They're not. Let's clarify. People could be coming to you for money. You, you're needed to hold back your money from a certain individual here, Virgo. Someone may come to you for money. You're you're being called to hold back from this money, from the, from giving this person money. Yeah, we got here victory and success. You're going to overcome any trial or tribulations that you may be going through. Okay? 
just know that. Let's see, what is this Ace of Cups here? Love begins for Virgo. You could, it could have been raining and you saw a rainbow, Virgo. I'm getting there's flowers still in bloom where you are. So there could still be flowers in bloom even though it's winter. <laughs> Let's see. Holy Spirit, what is this love begins for Virgo? Yeah, we have here the, the five of pentacles. Yeah, you feel like you don't have a, the love. No, the, this five of pentacles, you could be connected to a Taurus or a Scorpio. You're, you're, you give love, but when you need love, you're left out in the cold. It's like people don't give you the love that you give them. And I'm getting you tired of it. <laughs> you're tired of it. You're, you're calling judgment or you're being called to call judgment on some people in your lives that's draining you of your vital energy is what I'm getting here. Tell me about this five of pentacles when love begins. <clears throat> yeah. And let me tell you something. First of all, this could be you. Or this could be these people. But somebody here could be watching you and regret. Or this could be you. You could be watching someone and regretting like giving them love. Or you regret like putting your energy into a situation. You could be watching somebody and regret. Or this is someone watching you and regret. Because once you start to love yourself, the love begins as the Ace of Cups. And you're going to have to leave some people out in the cold in order for you to be able to focus on giving yourself the love that you need. And once you do this, Virgo, you're going to have people watching you and regretting the way that they treated you. And they're going to be up at night looking at you because you've ended things. They're going to see you in this happiness, this damn emperor here. Could be a Taurus with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be a mother figure. Okay, somebody here who I'm also getting Cancer or Leo. Scorpio is here. It's like you could have had people around you that didn't want to see you happy. But they wanted you to make them happy. But once you bring an end to this here... And you step into your happiness with the sun. These people going to be in regret, honey. I'm telling you they are. They want to regret the way they treated you. And they want to have to watch you be happy without them. Let's see. What is this heartache and loss here? What is this heartache and loss? Yeah, the three of swords and the empress. This could have been a mother figure. Strong Taurus energy is here. Virgo. Somebody is heartbroken or broke your heart. Tell me more about this Empress at the Three of Swords. Yeah, the Page of Cups. This could have been somebody um, that wants to come in and apologize for breaking your heart. And the Eight of Swords is here again. I'm getting somebody here could have. I'm getting it two ways. I had talked about this card. This was the card I was talking about. This victim. Somebody could feel victimized by you though, Virgo. Or, or this could be you. Somebody wanted to keep you trapped in your mind about them. Like, I don't know. You can see it's like she holding something behind her back. But she offering this cup with this damn fish in it. I don't like it. This could have been a new friend or this could have been a mother figure, a Taurus, a Libra who would come and apologize. But it, it, it's like they still felt they tried to make it seem like they were the victim. Even though they were the ones that were breaking your heart. What is this trapped in fear? Yeah, Knight of Wands, the moon. This person did not care. This person is hiding something. You see this behind this? Damn, somebody have a two sides to them. They very flighty. They in and out. Somebody don't care how you feel. It's all about what they can get and how you make them feel. This could be somebody who want to come and visit you at night. This could be a lover. You know, that want to just come and 
Somebody could be draining you of your your sexual energy. Like you could have like um healing sex here, Virgo. And somebody could be coming in to try to get this healing energy from you. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands with the Moon. Yeah, we got here the Hang One and the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is here twice. See, somebody sees your potential and I feel like they try to stop it. They try to keep you stuck and confused about who you are and confused about who the hell they are as well. Somebody wants you to put them on a pedestal that they don't deserve to be on. Why is this waiting game here? Yeah, we got here a Ten of Pentacles. This could be somebody in your family, but this is someone who wanted to keep you in confusion. Disillusioned. Okay, somebody wanted you to be confused about who they are in your life. But listen to your intuition. You already know. Tell me about this Ten of Pentacles with the Seven of Cups here. Yeah, Knight of Swords, Nine of Cups. Somebody is self-centered. Okay, somebody rushes in because you're their wish fulfillment. But it's like, yeah, it's like, you see how I don't, I don't usually get this from this card. But somebody like, yeah, I'm keeping everything to myself. But what can you give me? Like, yeah, I'm sitting here, Virgo. What you got for me today? Somebody could even try to fuss you out if you say, oh, I'm busy. Oh, I can't, you know, I can't make it. They try to rush in or rush over because you're not responding or you're not doing whatever it is that they want you to do. What the hell? What is this light energy, Holy Spirit? Yeah, we have here the Ace of Swords in the world. You're being called to speak your truth, honey. Some people need to be told about themselves. I feel like you're going to end up doing it yeah, with the star here and the, t and the ten of swords. Because it's like you was pretending that everything was fine. Even when people were stabbing you in your back and you knew that they were stabbing you. You still, la, 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 Virgo. Like it won't really happen. But you, it's time for you to heal yourself. Yes. You're going to cut somebody the hell out. You're going to shed light, okay, on a bullshit. What is this Ace of Swords? Oh, you're needing to. Yeah, this King of Pentacles, this Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo. Strong Earth energy here. Somebody here who you collaborated with. Who you thought was a team. Someone could have even been talking shit over the internet about you. Let me clarify this victory and success. Somebody could have been literally. Yeah, this is your justice. Okay, but you have to make a choice, Virgo. But this is your trust, your justice to be victorious in the situation, to focus on yourself with the Ace of Wands, to follow your intuition with the Crown Chakra. You could have been receiving dreams about somebody. Listen to your dreams. Something is being exposed. Yeah, the tower. This going to be a tower moment for these people when you put these boundaries up and you start to protect your energy because you need heavy um, protection of your energy, Virgo, because a lot of people who are around you, they may not have the best interest, and this could be people in your family. Okay, let's clarify. I don't know why that that Billy Eilish song is in my head. I did listen to it because I was channeling it, channeling it before I started your reading. Because I was like, I'm going to do Virgo reading. And then that song just popped in my head. Like, it's like you don't even know how to feel about a person. You don't know how to feel about a situation. You don't know how to how to feel about your life. She said, I used to flow. Now I just fall down. What else she said? I don't know. But what is this Um, Five of Pentacles? With the Page of Swords and the Five of Cups. With the Ace of Cups. What is this energy here, Holy Spirit? Okay. We got here a new job. So you're definitely going to be getting a new job here, Virgo. Well, we got here dark magic and new card. I don't know if somebody was doing some ma magic to stop some newness from coming into your life here. Tell me more about this dark magic. But this could just be you manifesting all oh, this, won't you? <laughs> Yeah, this could have been a lover. 
that was doing some type of dark magic on you, Virgo, to stop something from coming in for you. This snake, snakes in your circle. This person could have wanted you to connect with people who weren't for your best interest. Someone didn't even want you to get a new lover is what I'm getting. Somebody could have literally been doing some type of dark magic to stop your love life, to stop your prosperity in some type of way. But let me tell you something. What's destined for you is going to be for you. You're going to be victorious. You're going to be successful. What is this um, page of cups with the three of swords twice on the board? Because this, this heartache and loss is the three of swords. And this three of swords came out to clarify the three of swords. So somebody really broke your heart but wanted to come and apologize. Yeah, we got here money and celebrity. Virgo, for some of y'all, some of y'all going to come into some money. You're going to be known, very well known. This person going to want to come back and apologize after breaking your heart. Or they feel heartbroken because they didn't see it. It's like somebody slept on you, Virgo. Or they knew who you were and they didn't want you to be your... They didn't want you to reach your full potential. It's something about your capacity to do something. Tell me more about this money and celebrity. Yeah, we got here watching you and supportive. Some, you're going to be on the platform for some of y'all where you're going to be watched. Or you can have a boss at your job that's watching you and supporting something that you're going to start or something that you're going to be doing. Okay, whether this is a move up in your career or something that you do on a social media platform. But you're being watched, Virgo, even by this past person. I feel like they're going to want to support you now when they see this recognition, this money that you're going to be receiving. What is this Eight of Swords with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Swords, and the Hangman? Yeah, we got here a loving and physical fight. And I feel like a lot of people come for you, Virgo, because you have this loving energy. They take your kindness for weakness. Somebody feels like because you're so loving that they can't get away with doing fucked up shit to you, Virgo. I just got to keep it 100 Somebody feel like because you love and love and light and you're so sweet that they can just come in and do anything. Someone could literally want to fight you just because of the energy that you're in. Tell me more about this loving and physical fight. Yeah, we have here secret enemies and revenge. Like you had people who secretly did not rot with you, Virgo. And I feel like this is people who you could have helped. You, They could... You listened to their problems. You even helped them. You could have gave them rides or whatever. You were just so loving to these people. And it was really not for your highest good, Virgo. And now they're trying to get revenge on you because you loving. Because you are you didn't let or you're not going to let what people do to you change who you are. You don't let people change your nature. Just because it's in their nature to be the way that they are don't mean that, they, that you're going to change. What is this light with the Ace of Swords, King of Pentacles? Yeah, natural friend. Ulterior motive. You could have had a earth sign, male or female. That's natural goddamn friend, Virgo. This could have been another Virgo, a Taurus, or a Capricorn. Let's get one more. Yeah. We got here a genuine and genuine friend. This was somebody who you thought was a genuine friend. And this person was not your friend. Or if you cross-watching for a Virgo and you thought a Virgo was your friend, you was a genuine friend of this person, they was not. <laughs> this this person was not. Master justice here for victory and success. Yeah, because you're an earth angel. Somebody is going to spiritual court. <laughs> spiritual court. And um, they're going to be found guilty for coming for an earth angel. What is this waiting game? What is these people waiting on? Oh, this could be you. Good intentions. Your prayers answered. Let me tell you something. This, this good energy that you put out has not gone unnoticed, Virgo. The most high sees it. The angels see it. Your ancestors see it. And you will be rewarded. Your prayers will be answered. You, what's this Ten of Pentacles? You got some money coming in. I'm telling you. Yeah, this was your family. Look, your family. They was giving you fake love. They bit mad because you blocked them or they're going to be blocked from this experience, experiencing you. Someone is going to be blocked. This family, you either blocked them and they mad, but you know they was giving you fake love, Virgo. You knew it. 
Okay, so let me clean this up. I'm going to get your oracle messages. All right, Virgo. So let's see. What oracle messages do you have for Virgo? Holy Spirit. I can't believe some people in their audacity, honey. Well, we got here magic guardian. Unlock the magic within. And I feel like somebody wanted you to keep your magic buried. They want it to affect the way that you viewed yourself. And I'm getting also how other people's people viewed you. They could have been trying to tarnish your image or paint you out to be something that you definitely was not, Virgo. Somebody was trying to paint you out to be something that you were not. But I'm getting there in spiritual court. Yeah, we got look, Y'all, it's that back at the bottom. I can't make it up. Y'all saw me shuffle these cards. Magic guardian, unlock the magic within, honey. I'm going to read this to you and also stargazer. Set your sights higher. Because again, somebody here wanted you to not think outside of the box. They didn't want you to reach your full potential. You know, somebody wants you to stay in your lower vibration, worried about them, uh, being afraid to take risks. Feeling like you're a victim of your circumstances when you can co-create and create your own reality, right? By you setting your standards higher and getting rid of people, places, and things that do not serve you. Okay, Virgo, well, let me read Magic Guardian. It says, you are the magic. You are the answer. You have it all within you. If you've been searching for an answer or a reason to focus, recognize that all you are looking for is already within you. You are a powerful and magical person with the capacity to direct your intentions and will your desires into being. But your power can only be powerful when you own it. So take time to acknowledge it. Your ability to dedicate yourself to a goal and make it happen is a real gift that you're being guided to recognize now. Because I'm telling you, Virgo, you're so powerful and people see it and they try to drain you of your power. So they want you to focus on them so that you won't have time or even the energy to focus on yourself and your goals, but no more. It's time for you to focus on you. It says stop looking outside of yourself and recognize that you have incredible power within. Point blank in the period, you have the power to will whatever it is that you want into creation. You have the power to stick to a goal. Okay? You're manifesting healing and support. And you're going to get it, Virgo. We also have here a stargazer. Set your sights higher. It says you are on the verge of a miracle. All of your dreams and aspirations are within your grasp and you're being guided to focus on your vision. The angels who are with you are encouraging you. There is nothing that you cannot have or achieve. Let me repeat this. There's nothing that you cannot have or achieve. You will have this victory. You will have this success, Virgo. Okay, it's time for you to ignite your passions, honey. It says there's an opportunity at this time to heal an old wound or pattern of lack and not feeling good enough. In the past, you've often found it impossible to recognize your worth and to believe that you are deserving of blessings. Angel and ancestor wisdom is reminding you that you are an incredible and infinite spark of the universe. And the universe is not only within you. It absolutely adores you. You are talented, filled with strength, and have the abilities you need to turn your wildest dreams into reality. Absolutely. So dream big, Virgo, because you have the power within you to make it come true, honey. Let's get some affirmations to close out your reading. Let's see, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What affirmations do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What affirmations do you have? Oh, you know what? No, I have to pull from my... Hold up, y'all. I knew I was missing something here, honey. Let's get some Angels of Abundance messages. <clears throat> angels of Abundance. Look, we got here Detox Show Friendships. This is still here from... Um, who reading I do before y'all's? Leo. This was here for Leo's reading. It's time for you to detox your friendships here, Virgo. But let's see what comes out. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. What messages do you have for Virgo? Come rising again. 
What messages do you have for Virgo, Sun, Rising, and Venus? We have here release resentments about money. Yes, the money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. You will be supported in this business, in this endeavor, at your job, in your career. You will be supported, Virgo. Let's get one more. Yeah, we have here obstacles and blocks are lifted, point blank in the period. Because you had people who were trying to block out your blessings, trying to make you not realize your power. But this is this is lifted, honey. It says, all your good personal work and your positive energy shift have overcome previous obstacles and blocks are lifted away. You will now experience progress and forward movement with your project. Stay centered in gratitude to ensure that your flow of abundance continues. So st stay thankful, okay? Give thanks to the Most High, to the Holy Spirit, to your angels, to your guides, whoever you believe in. Thank them for all of the blessings that you have and the ones that are coming. Okay, Virgo, and we have your quiet retreat. It's time to disconnect from the outer world so that you can discern and process your true thoughts and feelings from your inner world. Create this quiet time for yourself and you will have more clarity about what to do next. Because again, the cards talked about you looking outside of yourself for answers, but all of your answers are within you, Virgo. Okay, so now let's close out with some positive affirmations. Thank you for these messages, Holy Spirit. So what affirmations do you have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Holy Spirit? What messages? Okay, this is a lot. We're not going to take them all. <laughs> Yeah, we have here, I know that all the wisdom I need to make the right decision lies within me. I am intuitive. <laughs> Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're very intuitive, Virgo. Yes, I know that I do not need to avoid making others uncomfortable by playing it small. I am taking up space. Absolutely, because I feel like, Virgo, you could be a people pleaser. You know, you don't want to make people feel bad. You want to make sure that you're liked. But let me tell you something. Everybody ain't going to like you, and it's fine. It's not. They, people going to be uncomfortable when you start being who you truly are and speaking your mind and speaking up for yourself. Take up space, Virgo. We also have here, I am abundant. I know that money flows to me freely when I pursue my passions. Look, passion ignited. Do whatever makes your heart and soul, you know, light on fire here. Whatever fires you up here, Virgo. This is what you're called to do, baby. Let's get one more for Virgo. Yeah, it says, I know that comparing myself to others only derails me from my purpose. I am on my own path. There's no need to compare yourself. You are uniquely you. You're beautiful and you're worthy as well. Know that you deserve to have everything that you want and need at this time. And last but not least, we have here, I know that for every door that life closes, a new one opens around the corner. I am optimistic. Yes, yes, yes. So Virgo, I really hope that these messages helped you. If they did, please like, share, and subscribe. I love you, Virgo. Bye.